Hello everyone and welcome to the March 18th, 2018 edition of the Astrology News Report. I'm your intrepid host, Ron Berger. In this segment, we'll look at the upcoming planetary patterns and predictions. What's on the celestial agenda for March 18th to March 25th and beyond? But before beginning, a little reminder to viewers to please help out covering the costs of keeping this weekly report going. Just click on the link at the end of the video to make your donation. Thanks. The main astrology event this week is Mercury beginning its first retrograde period of 2018. Mercury moves in reverse in the zodiac three times a year for about three weeks each time. Of course, the planet is not actually going backwards. It's an optical illusion caused by the concentric orbits of the planets and the fact that we here on Earth are riding along on one of these orbits. But as far as astrology is concerned, a retrograde planet definitely alters its significations. This time, Mercury retrograde will be wholly within sidereal Pisces, starting at 22 degrees Pisces on Thursday, March 22nd. The effects of Mercury retrograde are well documented. It's the planet of rational thinking, communications, facts and data going backwards, which is generally unfavorable for all the things that Mercury represents. Delays, mistakes, and misunderstandings are more common during Mercury retrograde. Everyday operations get screwed up, causing a lot of annoyance. When the planet of reasoning is backwards, it's a poor time to be making important decisions. Information gets distorted, leading to incorrect or misleading news reports. Furthermore, this retrograde Mercury occurs in Pisces, considered Mercury's sign of debilitation, in other words, weak. Simultaneously, the ruler of Pisces, Jupiter, is also not functioning properly because it too is retrograde. This arrangement further degrades the condition of Mercury. And then, as Mercury backs up in Pisces, it comes into position to receive the square aspect of its arch-enemy, Mars, planet of conflict. The exact square from Mars to retrograde Mercury will be on April 3rd and 4th, Note, too, that Saturn will be conjunct Mars and thus participating and adding its restrictive energy to the Mars square, making the first week of April especially bad for Mercury significations. After 24 days, the Mercury retrograde period ends on April 15th, by which time Mercury will have reached 10 degrees Pisces but be aware that it takes a week or so for the planet to get back up to speed. In other words, the problems with communications can still persist through the third week of April. Now I will go through the zodiac and talk about what to watch out for for each of the twelve rising signs. Remember that this is the sidereal zodiac, the one you can see with your naked eyes. If you are using a Western astrology chart, you have to subtract 24 degrees to get to the sidereal positions. My apologies if what follows sounds mostly negative. Well, let's admit it, Mercury retrograde periods are times when things are more likely to get messed up. Mostly this amounts to annoyances, misunderstandings, and inconvenience, which you can avoid some of by being on your guard, by bringing more awareness to situations, especially in your interactions with others. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that there are some things that Mercury retrograde periods can be useful for, so here they are. Mercury retrograde is good for going back over things, editing, making corrections, checking your facts, or checking your transactions. Mercury retrograde is good for getting back in touch, returning past correspondence, paying past bills, finishing up past business. But you still 
have to be extra careful and pay attention to the details. Okay, so let's go through the zodiac. If you are Aries rising, Mercury retrograde affects your twelfth house, the house of loss, unknown places, foreigners, and the subconscious. Therefore, watch out for communications from unknown people, which may lead to losses for you. The twelfth house is the house of expense, and Mercury is the planet of transactions. So, be careful that any financial dealings don't result in losses. Also, since the twelfth house is the subconscious, your dream world may be disturbed for the next three weeks. For Taurus rising people, Mercury retrograde hits your eleventh house. The people of the eleventh house are your friends and associates and elder sibling if you have one. Be careful of miscommunication with these people in your life. Mercury retrograde delays things. The eleventh house is the house of rewards, so the payout that you were expecting doesn't arrive when it should. The eleventh house is also your goals and ambitions. There's a strong possibility of misunderstanding the purpose of your goal during this retrograde. In other words, not being realistic about what you had set out to accomplish. If you have Gemini as your rising sign, retrograde Mercury will be afflicting your tenth house of deeds in the community, professional activities, business success, and relationship with authorities. Watch out for misunderstandings and miscalculations affecting your career area and your community affairs. There will be problems in communication with your superiors, delays in getting a response, misunderstanding of the boss's orders, and or misinterpretation of your professional actions. If you are cancer rising, then Mercury retrograde affects your ninth house, the house of beliefs, meritorious deeds, long-distance travel, higher learning, and relations with father and or guru. With this transit, your good deed may go unappreciated. Your studies are more difficult to understand. Your relationship with your teacher is subject to miscommunication. Mercury is the planet of travel. When it is retrograde, especially in this position, it is not a good time to take a long-distance journey. And there will likely be misunderstandings with father or confusion with your guru. For Leo rising charts, Pisces is the eighth house sign. Mercury is the planet of business transactions. Retrograde Mercury in your house of financial arrangements with others, including your spouse or even a bank, will likely bring you problems in that area. A miscalculation on your part could even bring dishonor and humiliation. The eighth house is also the house of big changes, whether good or bad. This is not a good time to make a major change in any direction, since the outcome will likely be other than what you'd intended. Virgo rising people get Mercury retrograde in their seventh house, the house of one-on-one -on -one relationships. Misunderstandings and mistakes in communication will be a feature of your relationship with your significant other for the next three weeks. Business partners and clients will be similarly affected. The seventh house is also dealings in distant places. Retrograde Mercury will screw things up in that area of your life as well. Be especially careful of the first week of April when Mars will square retrograde Mercury. Angry outbursts are a high likelihood. If you are Libra rising, Pisces is your sixth house sign. This is the house of struggle and difficulties and solving problems. Retrograde Mercury will cause misunderstanding, leading to problems for you in general, as well as making your efforts to deal with it prone to confusing outcomes. This is the house of your employment and relations with your co-workers. Communication with anyone in the workplace will be subject to delays, misinterpretation, mistakes, and so forth. This will then cause trouble with co-workers. 
For Scorpio rising people, Mercury is retrograde in your fifth house of romance, child, teachers, and teachings. The potential for getting your wires crossed with your lover is much higher than usual during this Mercury retrograde period. This is not the best time to engage in speculation in the stock market and not the best time to begin a new creative project. And if you have a child, the relationship with him or her will be fraught with problems. Sagittarius rising people will have Mercury retrograde in the fourth house. The fourth house is your mother and your relationship with her, which will require more patience on your part due to a higher likelihood of miscommunication. This part of the chart stands for domestic activities, in other words, life on the home front, which during this Mercury retrograde period will be rough due to misunderstandings between household members. The Mars aspect will cause misunderstandings to degenerate into outright combat. For Capricorn rising charts, Pisces is the sign in the third house, the house of desires and self-efforts. Retrograde Mercury is irrational and unreasonable, and so too will be your desires during these weeks. Mercury is a planet very much involved with daily operations, which is the province of this sector of the chart. Thus, retrograde Mercury in this area can really screw things up for your everyday activities, such as doing errands, everyday communications, and there's a high probability for problems with equipment. If you are Aquarius rising, retrograde Mercury affects your second house. Mercury is the planet of financial transactions. The second house signifies your money and materiality. This is not a good time to be making financial decisions. The second house is the house of the nuclear family. Communications within the family are prone to misinterpretation, resulting in family friction. And... Importantly, the second house is your speech. Retrograde Mercury in this sector pretty much guarantees that your words will cause confusion for others. And for Pisces rising people, you get the Mercury retrograde experience affecting everything because it is your first house of self. The tendency will be for you to think irrationally, to hear things incorrectly, and to speak in ways that cause misunderstanding with others. Therefore, you have to be careful in all interactions. This retrograde period will be prone to mistakes and miscalculations. Best to stick to routine actions and to be especially careful when speaking and communicating with others. So, to recap, remember the dates, March 22nd to April 15th. People are less rational. There will be problems in communications. It's not a good time to be making important decisions. Not a good time for travel. Not a good time to begin something new. The worst of it will be when Mars and Saturn are both forming a square aspect to retrograde Mercury, putting the planet of communication under enormous pressure during the first week of April. And now, once again, my little pitch for donations. If you appreciate what this YouTube channel does for you, please help keep it going by visiting the donation page and making a contribution. Just click on or touch the donation card you see here. Thanks for your support, and until next week.